everybody, I hope you're having a nice day. I'm here today to show you my makes for March. March? <laughs> Every time I film one of these videos, I always forget the month that I'm meant to be showing you makes for. But yes, it's definitely March. We're in April and March has just been. So I've got three makes to show you um, and um, yeah, let's get started. So the first one is my kimono, which I am wearing and I knew that I would definitely like this because I love the fabric, but I didn't realize how much I'd like it. I just think it's so pretty. So um, it's made out of this beautiful fabric, lovely chiffon. Um, sorry, I'm in a non-maternity t-shirt here. So it's a little bit tight. Um, and uh, yeah, I made it the length, it's the length that's in between the short length and the long length. So this, we've got two cutting lines on the pattern and I basically did it in between. And this length I really like, I think it's a really nice pretty. And it's just a nice length. Um, I don't know if it's annoying me that the t-shirt doesn't finish longer. I don't think that matters really. But I'm gonna wear this so much because it's really, really comfy, it's really pretty. And you can see, like underneath, I've got jeans and a white t-shirt. There's nothing special about that, nothing pretty about that. And then you just put this on and immediately you're like prettified um, in a nice, yeah, in a nice kimono. So um, now the, I wanna show you here, I've done um, French seams, which um, in chiffon, I think it's really nice. Otherwise you'd have the, um, overlocking showing so it's got French seams um, and hand finished on the inside I know there's an option you could took machine top stitch but I think it's so lovely if it's hand finished um, so yeah not really much to say it's a kimono but I just think that I hope that this shows you how pretty it can look in chiffon and actually when I was designing this kimono which was years ago three four years ago I designed the kimono and then I sat on the pattern for a while. That sometimes happens. I kind of do a pattern, don't make up one, and then sit on it for a while. Um, or obviously then it comes a, becomes a class. Anyway, the first time, the reason why I did it is because I saw a chiffon kimono and I just thought it's so elegant, it's so stylish, so pretty, and it's so simple but it's all about the fabric. I really think that this pattern is all about the fabric. There isn't much to it. It's not like I've invented some amazing pattern. It's not like it's, you know, an incredible cut or anything like that. It's a basic kimono. I think the balance of the, um, the, the width of this is really nice. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to undersell myself here, but I'm also not trying to make out that I'm a genius because I don't think this pattern is about that. But what it's about is just choosing really beautiful fabric that really just shows the fabric off and it's something with drape and soft and that's got a really lovely print and you can't go wrong. So I think today this is my favorite kimono and I'm definitely gonna be wearing it a lot. And I'm loving the fact that I'll be wearing it a lot because I can wear it now, I can wear it post when I'm having on maternity leave. It's not gonna have any breastfeeding issues with this, I hope. Um, and I can also wear it after that as well. So yeah, it's a really good pattern and I think I'll have to, if I get a chance to do any more sewing, maybe I'll make another one. Um, so yeah, so that's make number one. On to the next one. On to my next make, and this is the nursing top that I designed that's also a maternity top as well. Um, so I'll just stand back so you can see. Uh, here it is. Now I've got a vest under, so nothing's going to be belt, but bared, bared. No flesh will be bared. No, what's the word? Uh, no flesh will be shown. You know what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, it opens up like so, so you could get to, I guess you can wear a breastfeeding um, vest with it. Um, but um, yeah, really pretty, nice and summery. And um, this is the version with the cap sleeve. So I haven't done that one yet, so I wanted to try that out. Um, I really like it, I think it's really pretty. It does, if, as a maternity pattern, it does make you look, well, does make you look big, which I mean, I am big, I'm eight, eight months pregnant, over eight months pregnant now, so um, you know, I am big, but it, I think because it's not defining in there, it kind of does sort of, it's a little bit tenty, um, but it's so comfy, and I think when you get to this stage in your pregnancy, you, you just, you don't really care about kind of trying to kind of define your boobs from your bump, it's just kind of 
what's comfy and um, yeah, something that's loose um, like this is really comfy. But I also think I'd be really interested to see how I get on with it wearing it post-pregnancy because I think that the way it's gonna hang will be so different because obviously there's a giant and there's no giant bump in the way. But also I just think that it could look really pretty and elegant, so we will see. Um, I should put it on a mannequin for me to see what it's gonna look like, because um, I haven't done that yet. I've only tried it on myself and the whole time I've been pregnant, so. Um, but yeah, really pleased with this. This is a lovely soft viscose. We've got this viscose, we've got it in a few colors. Well, this print we have in two colors, but we got viscose like this in a few colors. Um, and it's just really lovely soft viscose to work with. I really like it, it's really nice. Um, so I'm not sure if there's any of this fabric left, but if there is, we'll make sure that it is online. As for the kimono fabric, there was a bit of that, but I'm trying to get some more. Um, and if we can get some more, it won't be quite for a while. The, the supplier said he can't quite get any yet, but if we do, we'll make sure that we put it up on social media and you guys will know about it. But at the moment, I don't know if there is any left, sorry. I didn't have masses when I put up my haul, um, so yeah. Anyway, make number two. Now on to the next make, which is definitely my favorite of all of them. I'm very excited to show you this. Ta-da! I managed to fit it all out out of this beautiful fabric. Now I say I managed to, but actually Lisa, or LJ as we call her, so that we don't get confused with two Lisas in the business, LJ made this um, because I just didn't have time and she's done a beautiful job of it. And, but, uh, she did send me a message going, Lisa, I don't think we we're gonna be able to fit it. And I was like, we have to. So we got our heads together and um, had a meeting and basically jigsaw puzzled everything together. And we also made it a little bit shorter, so it worked. And I am so happy. Oh my gosh, I just love, I think I haven't been this excited about a make for so long. Um, I think just because the fabric is so special. I was so worried that it might not work out and it has worked out anyway. I'm obviously a little bit, it's a bit small for me, but I don't know if it matters at the moment because it doesn't close and it's not meant to close anyway. So the fact that it's just a bit more open on me right now, yeah, it's fine. So yeah, so it's a little bit shorter than the original um, pattern is. Um, the sleeve length though, we kept that, we managed to keep that the same, which I'm really pleased about. Um, and yeah, here it is. Let me show you up a bit up close. This fabric is just so pretty, isn't it? So, so pretty. And it's lined in rayon, which is so comfy to wear. And certainly this time of year is gonna be great because it's gonna um, be much more breathable than an acetate lining. So I'm really glad. I was gonna do it in a, we were gonna use like a quite a strong purple. And then I just changed my mind at the last minute and decided to do um, the gray rayon. And just, yeah, I love it. So um, it's been understitched all the way around. Um, we have in the past when I've made them, I have sometimes top stitched it, but I really didn't want it top stitched on this beautiful fabric. And Lisa's done an amazing job of making all those edges really, really super, super neat. So Lisa, if you're watching this, I absolutely love this. Thank you so much. And I'm gonna be wearing it definitely um, throughout the summer. Again, it's a bit like the kimono. It's like you can throw it on and suddenly you're like, a bit more glam and a little bit more, you know, special. Um, but you can throw it on over jeans and a t-shirt and I think it works. Um, it's very much in that kind of, that boho trend of kind of these style, chanel -y style jackets that I think is still going quite strong. Um, not that I'm swayed by trends, but just saying, I think that's, you know, you see people in jeans and pumps and like a plain t-shirt and then like one of these really wowy little jackets and I think, yeah. This is gonna be one of those. So, um, yeah. So that is my three makes for March. So um, I am gonna do some next month, or rather this month, although how far I'll get with them, who knows? So I'm not due until early May, um, so I have got time. But who knows if the baby will come early and who knows if I'll be able to sit at the machine very long. Already I'm really struggling to sit at the machine that long and I've got endless cushions around me because um, it's not very comfortable. Um, but I have got two weeks, completely two weeks off before the baby comes where um, I may want to do some sewing. I'm just gonna see, but anyway, 
I'm hoping to do some. Lisa is kind of backed up to help out if I can't. Um, so um, I'm going to show you the fabrics that I have at plans for next week so that and then we'll just see how far we get and it may be that if the baby comes early you guys won't see the makes until May or until I can film it but um, yeah I will try my best to get that out to you before um, I disappear. Um, and I'm in the process at the moment of filming lots of other vlogs that will come out whilst I'm um, on maternity leave so that there will be something coming out. It won't be necessarily every week, um, it might be every other week, um, it depends on um, the team and as they're sorting them all out, but I'm going to batch film them, I'm in the process of starting that already, so I asked a while back about any videos you wanted to do and I've done some tutorial videos and then I'm going to do some other kind of more talky chatty videos um, and I'm also going to show you a few more of my handmade wardrobes, I know there's the when I did the Ultimate Shift and um, collection and the Betty collection they're really popular so I'm going to do some more things like that. So yeah, so lots of videos like that hopefully will be um, peppering their way through whilst I'm on maternity leave over the summer and also the girls have promised that they're going to do a bit of videoing for filming themselves um, which is amazingly um, kind of them to offer to do that because doing this is not everyone's cup of tea being in front of the camera and um, so but they do want to kind of try and keep up the whole showing you guys the fabric because I know that's quite important for you guys to see what fabric we've got in and how it moves and that sort of thing so I think they're going to be doing some new in videos for you um, so watch out for those so yeah that will be Rosie and Holly who you now know who are because you met last week on the video but yeah that is it for this week so um this is my so today i was in islington and um i've got exactly one week left before i'm supposedly switching off um i think i know myself i will switch off in terms of i'm not going to go in i'm not having any meetings i'm not doing any work for anybody i'm not checking things but i am obviously going to keep an eye on emails until the baby comes i think that's you know it's just second nature but to me I think I can't not do that um, but hopefully there won't be many emails coming in because everything's been handed over anyway so um, and I'll be able to do lots of nice things like swimming and I'm gonna do some baking and do some batch cooking so we put some food in our freezer and some more nesting and hopefully a little bit of sewing for the baby um, I don't really want to do clothes um, yet because we don't know what we're having but I have got an idea to make a little quilt um, and a maybe little like a tidy to put on the cot so um, yeah we'll see if I get any of that done don't know hope so and crocheting as well still have to finish my bunny I'm almost there this is like the longest project ever but I'm almost there with my bunny and after that I will try and get um, get into a bit more crocheting and maybe do um, the online course I told you about I want to try and get that done um, so that I can start to do granny squares Anyway, that's it from me this week, guys. I hope you all have lovely weeks. May the sunshine continue. It's amazing. It's so lovely and warm. I really hope it does. And I'll see you next week. Bye.